good morning yes it's like half 10 this is a weird time to start a vlog isn't it but hey guys i know random here welcome back to my channel first thing we have to address how do you like the new camera quality you can see that i have no makeup on um <laughs> i bought a new camera if you guys watched my last video you know that i mentioned it in that uh, if you haven't watched that video by the way it didn't do very well so by all means go and check that out but anyway so don't really know why i picked up the camera today gonna be honest um was intending on doing a weekly vlog this week like i tried but i just wasn't feeling it and now it's friday and i'm picking up the camera again because i'm feeling inspired i don't really know today's video i guess it's just gonna be like a day in my life productive-ish trying to be at least a vlog trying to get my life together this week's been rough not gonna lie to you so i need to get on with some work i had my first deadline yesterday actually on thursday although i submitted on wednesday <laughs> that's not me trying to flex my next deadline is actually a week on monday so i have quite a lot of time i guess this is just kind of a trying to get my life together trying to be productive kind of a vlog uh what have i done so far i've had a zoom meeting with my tutor for for the one remaining module that i have for the semester before we start semester two and right now i am just watching youtube <laughs> So, getting off to a great start. I do have a bit of work to do, as I say, on my journal for this remaining module, so you're gonna see me do a bit of work on that, probably. Actually, no, I don't know whether I'm gonna be doing journal work, but I'm doing scamp work, actually. But we'll see as how it goes. As you can see, the we have the return of <laughs> the pink fluffy hoodie from my review of the prom. Again, that's another video if you guys wanna go watch that. So, yeah, follow me along today i don't know how this is gonna go whether i'm even gonna upload this but hey i had the inspiration to pick up the camera this camera for the first time so yeah whatever happens i hope you guys enjoy and yeah let's attempt to be productive <laughs> okay enough getting distracted it's time to go into focus mode, which means I'm not touching this phone <laughs> until I've done some work. All right, so if you guys watched my last vlog, then you know about scamps and that kind of thing in terms of my advertising module. However, if you didn't watch that vlog, go watch that vlog. Because uh, <laughs> I don't want to explain it here. But essentially, I'm basically doing the same kind of thing today. Uh, as you will see in just a second, let me show you what I'm going to be doing. So this, as you can see, for those of you who know about design things, is a mock-up. This is a scamp that I did that I put onto a mock-up of a bus stop. I actually drew these scamps in the last vlog, so go watch the last vlog and then go back to this one. But essentially what my tutor told me to do in terms of making these into finished scamps is put it on a mock-up, as you can see that I've already done, and then go and trace over that on my paper to make it into a finished mock-up scamp if that makes sense what i'm going to do after i've done that is coloring it in on the paper because scanning it in and doing it on photoshop your girl really can't be bothered so <laughs> that is the situation and we shall see how this goes so here are the finished scamps as i said i was i colored them in on paper because scanning them in and doing them doing them on photoshop is too much effort so i um i just decided to do it on paper like i said and this is how they turned out so i've just taken pictures of these and i'm gonna put them in my journal along with just work on my journal in general because it needs a lot of work <laughs> guess who's doing a workout because she hasn't done one in a few days and her mental health needs it um, <laughs> I don't know how much I'm gonna go into my mental health and whatever in this vlog because I'm planning on doing a whole video about it But yeah, as I say, I've changed again If you saw the last vlog, you know, this is my workout sweatshirt Just gonna be like an easy one bit of like cardio stuff and then probably just the the same ab workout that I did in the last vlog to be fair because since then I've been religiously doing Lily Sabri workouts like Chloe Ting. We don't know her anymore uh, <laughs> But yeah, as I say that is the plan we shall see how this goes. So as you can see, I've just done a workout. Um, <laughs> significantly more rosy in the face and my hair's 
messed up. But that was very much needed, <laughs> very fulfilling. And yeah, now on with the rest of my day again. I think it's uh, just be doing uni work and maybe procrastinating with YouTube as you do. I'll document it all, so keep watching. So I thought that while I was here, I might as well show you this. The camera's being really weird. It won't focus properly on the screen. I don't know why it, I can't fix it. So I'm sorry. I think it's just because it, it's a screen. It doesn't really know how to uh, cope with it very well. But this is Notion, as you can see. In my last vlog, if you watched it, you know, I only just started to use Notion since then. I have fallen deep into the trap and I have to say that I love it. I understand fully why people love this software. Uh, predominantly, I have been using it to plan my videos, like the review of the prom that I did and also the goals of it video that I made, which was the last video I made before this video, were both planned in Notion and and it really really helped me. This is the feature that I've been trying to use like almost every day which is obviously the daily to-do list. So as you can see I'm just about to uh, check some stuff off. As you can see I completed the ad shell ad scamps so there you go and then I have to add both of those to my journal. This was from yesterday so I can delete that. Um, but yeah, so as I say, I am one of those people now who can say hashtag not sponsored, but wish I was, cause Notion is big. I'm gonna <laughs> get on with the rest of my day and we shall see how this goes. Okay, so you're not really gonna be able to see. I don't know, it, yeah, you can't really see. I'm just watching YouTube, like I'm not even doing anything that important, but I happen to look out of my window and it's snowing. I mean, it's not sticking, and like, as soon as it hits any kind of ob object, like the pavement or the my parents' cars down there, it, it just melts immediately because it's been raining and it's all damp, so it's not gonna stick. But, bro, <laughs> it's snowing! Yeah, I... Hmm, what, what, what a nice sight to look out your window and see. The first snow of 2021. Again, you can't see, but I can see. And yeah, just why I wanted to share this moment, you know? <laughs> Okay, so apologies for the lighting change. It's almost four o'clock, so the it, and plus it's like really cloudy, so it's already dark. But I suppose you could see the screen, the screen a bit better. I suppose that's the still a silver lining. As you can see, I am currently in InDesign. This is me putting my Alpro pitch presentation that I. Uh, did a few weeks ago into my journal because apparently we have to do that as well So it's essentially a process of going through and screenshotting every slide on the presentation and then putting it in my journal Which definitely pads it out in terms of the page count. So I suppose that's, that's the bright side of it I suppose yeah, very tedious, but has to be done. We shall see how this goes. <laughs> so while we're here and while I'm doing a rather mundane task, I thought I'd take this opportunity just to have a bit of a chat with you guys, have a bit of an update. For those of you who care, <laughs> for those of you who've uh, watched my, my mental health video and follow my videos, um, I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a mental health update just because I feel like it's necessary. I haven't been doing that great. Um, being honest, I initially was, like, the plan was for me to go back to Bolton for this term. Uh, I was supposed to be going back initially yesterday and then at the end of this month, but then of course we went into lockdown, um, so I'm gonna be staying here until, like, for at least six weeks. The lockdown announcement, to be honest, was a bit of a blessing for me. I was not looking forward to going back to Bolton um, and being on my own in my room um, because as much as I'm okay being on my own and, you know, not really having many friends, um, don't think I've ever actually said this in this video, but um, I lost a friendship at the end of last term. Uh, like right before I came home, I it came to me that it was just not healthy for me anymore, and th thankfully we ended in a, in a civil way. Like it wasn't really nasty or anything, but still that meant that um, I in Bolton have zero friends <laughs> um, and only really have two people that I talk to like at home te technically who I don't really see 
that often. So yeah, and as much as, as I say, I am used to that, as I said in my mental health video, you know, I'm used to not really having many friends and spending a lot of time on my own. Never before have I had to be on my own in a situation where I don't really have a life outside education and being on my own, <laughs> um, which is something that kind of hit me over, like since, since, since I've been home really, especially oh, over the Christmas period, it was really starting to make me anxious because the one thing I was terrified of was going back and being lonely and possibly slipping into depression or that anything like that you know it was really really worrying me and as I, as I said at the beginning of this vlog you know this week's been a bit rough I mean the, the past couple of weeks have been a bit rough as I say like the whole time uh, that, that I've been home pretty much has been on and off like it's been a roller coaster and today I don't really know why I picked up the camera as I, as I said at the beginning of the vlog because I have had a rough week like since Wednesday it's just been like my mental health has just been I've just not been very happy <laughs> basically and um yeah that's not been that's not been fun because obviously this year was supposed to be better than 2020 and of course with the capital building what happened there and everything it's just like very overwhelming so yeah I don't know what's gonna happen um when I go back because I'm gonna have to go back granted it'll be like mid to late ne next month but I just don't know at this point and that scares me quite a lot and is affecting a lot of my motivation and just me as a person I mean I've been very depersonalized and very dissociated again since Wednesday and obviously that's a main factor in why I'm just not feeling myself or just not able to quite feel happy <laughs> but I don't know I'm planning on making a whole video about this kind of topic and why I'm feeling like this because I feel like it's important right now especially since a lot of people will be feeling lonely and have been throughout this whole year really like especially last year because obviously we're, we've only just started this year but yeah as much as in my goals video I was very sort of trying to be optimistic about the whole thing and be like these are my goals and this is my you know what I want to do and whatever but that's been dashed pretty harshly so far which has not been great so yeah as I say I'm planning on making a whole video about this kind of feeling and whatever but at the moment I just wanted to give you that update hey guys so it's a couple of days after now it's actually Sunday that is actually all I filmed that day um surprise surprise <laughs> after I the bad mood I was clearly in. To be honest, that entire day, although you can't actually see it, like when I've been trying to edit this vlog, especially when I first started, I was like, damn, you felt bad that whole day, and yet in the beginning clip it doesn't really seem like it, but hey, that's depersonalization for you. As I say, that is all I filmed. The point of this vlog, I guess, was just to kind of emphasize that point I just talked about as to how you know sometimes it's not clear that someone's struggling because you can, on the outside, they seem like themselves when inside they're really just not themselves a lot of the stuff i've seen going around at the moment is like checking on your mates especially like the happy ones and like the positive ones because they're usually the ones who hide it best and i just want to emphasize that point because this is a, a, a difficult time and some people could be struggling and you wouldn't know unless you asked them so if you have a friend who are usually like the positive ones who are usually happy making jokes whatever make sure you're checking in on them especially right now because they could be struggling and they don't want to tell you so just yeah as i said in this vlog i am planning on making making a whole video about my, my mindset and my mental health and where it's been because as much as i'm feeling a lot better now than i did in that video uh, i and by no means there actually watching this vlog back has actually like made, made me sort of sink back into a hole of like oh god here's the dread um so that's not great self-deprecation from editing a youtube video where hey um <laughs> don't we just love it but yeah as i say check in on your mates it's a difficult time right now people are going to be scared and anxious and might not want to open up and say so so just make sure you're checking in on people it's okay not to be okay even if you have 
deadlines at the moment. Make sure you're looking after yourself. Make sure you're taking it slow when you need to. Make sure you're checking in with yourself, admitting when something's wrong. All of that fun stuff. Um, <laughs> and yeah, that's all I wanted to say just to end this video out. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss out any more of my YouTube videos. Also, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Names which will be, as always, at the end of this video. And yeah. I will see you guys in the next one.